Yeah, yeah. Do any of you guys know what the heck this line's for? Yuki-chan, do you know? No, I don't. Well, guys, <sighs> I should have known. <sighs> and before you get your hopes up, I didn't win either. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it seems I've won. I did too! <laughs> You're the best friends I ever had! What about me? <laughs> oh, man. I can't see anything! Oh. Come on! <sighs> that was amazing! I was so impressed! Did you guys see the MC? I thought he was super cute! Ah, uh, you're kidding. You didn't think so? Not really my type. Hmm? Are you feeling okay, Konata? You're awfully quiet. Huh? I guess the concert really took it out of you, didn't it? I mean, it was pretty impressive, and I'm even feeling drained. Uh-huh. I wonder what this feeling I'm feeling is. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Come on, let's go. Ma'am, you picked the weirdest things to get all proactive about. It's the last day to see the cherry blossoms blooming. I don't want to miss it. Besides, when you put it off for the next day or the day after, something always happens. It'll rain and all the petals will start falling off. Hey, what happened to that goldfish you caught at the summer festival last year? Hmm. Actually, hmm? I sort of gave him too much food and now he's like this big. That's big like a showgun! I guess I pamper the little guy too much. Wait a minute. Are you sure you're feeding it the right food? Because that thing is definitely not a goldfish anymore. Maybe he's fat because he's living a happy, peaceful life, you know? Huh? So are you going to eat him? What are you saying? That reminds me of this anime with pets who die and return human. They go back to their owners and they're all, Welcome home, Master! Here you go with another hardcore reference. <gasps> Maybe I should put him on a little diet. Kagami! You're not going to replace him with a skinnier one, are you? What? Uh it's getting pretty cold, isn't it? I guess we'll head home. It kind of sucks when you're out to see the cherry blossoms at night, but you're not dressed for it. Your butt gets so cold while you're sitting down, too. I heard somewhere that the average temperature in March is basically the same as December's, and April's average temperature is similar to November's. Wow, if this was November or December, I'd be piling on the layers. Yeah, and in March and April, you never seem to have enough layers on. Maybe it's because you get tired of wearing your winter clothes. Perhaps it's how one subconsciously expresses is their desire for spring to arrive. Hey, Kagami doesn't look like she's cold. Huh? So she must have come prepared. Wearing <sighs> wool undies, huh? I am not! Oh. Sorry, Kyopi. That's all you get today. Uh -huh. If this thing comes back to me as an aggressive boyfriend, I am so gonna be hating my life. Yeah, I wonder what's wrong with her. <laughs> Man, my nose hurts. 
My skin's so delicate, it's gotten raw from all this blowing. This time of year always does this to me. It's relentless. That sucks, Dad. I guess I'm always home anyway. Don't worry. I heard there's lots of stuff you can buy now that helps with hay fever and allergies. Oh, really? Transformation! This rocks, and it's cutting out like 99% of the pollen. Now you're as suspicious on the outside as you are on the inside. <laughs> Please, Dad, don't let the police catch you like that. Well, I'm off to the store now. Okay, have fun, Dad. You want to go? Nah, no thanks. Hold it, Dad. You're not going out there like that, are you? Why not? That's why I got my gear on. I'll be okay. On to our next story. Around 11 o'clock last night, a woman barged into a convenience store and attempted to walk out with the day's earnings. Hey, However, you, Chan? Uh-huh. I was, was thinking that maybe all these convenience store robbers are just pretending to have allergies. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Freeze! Why me? Whoa, what, tomorrow? Yeah, let's go. We haven't done that in a while. And I finished all of my homework by myself. Huh? Did you say by yourself? No way. You're kidding, right? You really did? No, I lied. Uh, Come on, it's April Fool's. Did you forget? Didn't you tell a lie today? That's what it's about. So I guess this means you're not going to do your homework by yourself. You must be so <laughs> bored calling me up at this hour just to April Fool's me. <sighs> Whatever, Slackenstein. I'll see you tomorrow. Izumi Residence. Oh, hiya. This is Kuroi. Oh, hi, ma'am. Oh, hey, it's me. So that game you let me borrow, I sort of accidentally saved over your data. What? <laughs> I got you. I so got you. You totally fell for it, April Fool. She must be so bored calling this late. Uh, ma'am? Yeah, what's up? The other day, Miyuki-san said... <laughs> Come now, being a teacher is such an easy job. I mean, if Miss Kuroi can do it. That's what she said. That brat. So that nice crap's all an act, huh? Um, ma'am, April Fools? So basically, Konata called just to April Fools me. Unbelievable. <laughs> you have a chance to trick anyone with a lie today? Uh, yeah, I did. No way, you did? What was the lie you told? Uh, what I said just now. Uh, I lied when I said I lied. You what? Wait, you don't have to force yourself to tell a lie today, you know. So what kind of lie did Kona-chan tell? Mm, she said she finished her homework all by herself. And I was pretty dumb to fall for it, too. Everyone knows that that'll never happen. So if she was lying, then it means she hasn't finished her homework. Knowing her, I'm positive she hasn't finished it. Oh, okay. Oh, Brenda, I know how you must You're just glad someone's in the same boat as you, aren't you? Uh, well, I... <laughs> Hmm? Hey, Konata, you got a minute? Mm-hmm. <sighs> so, is it interesting? Yeah, unique. Oh, that's good. Uh, Konata, I'm thinking about getting married again, and, well, there it is, okay? Okay. No, it's perfectly normal you'd be against the idea. Konata's your real mom, and she always will be. But that's not what... Huh? Wait a sec, Konata. Are you saying if I get married again, you're okay with it? Sure, why not? Uh, and you do know that it means you'll have a new mom, right? You're still okay with that? Oh, yeah. So what's my new mom gonna be like? Uh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's a pretty serious thing. You can't take new mothers lightly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next question. What is the modest and polite form of the word iku? That's an easy one. It's Ukagao. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's definitely Ukagao. I'm with you girls on that one. Oh, come on. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. And the answer is Mairu. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I guess it is, isn't it? I can't believe I thought for that one. Now it's all weird. It's so. always like this when someone who thinks they're right finds out they're wrong. The first multiple choice question is, which of the following prefectures do not face toward the ocean? Is it A, Ibaraki? Or is it B, Tochigi? Or is it C, uh -huh. Kyoto? It's B! <gasps> B, right? Definitely B. This one's way mm -hmm. too easy. And the answer is B. <laughs> Next question. The most famous problem in the history of mathematics was finally proven by Professor Wiles of Princeton University in 1994. Which of the following three choices is the name of that theorem? Is it A, the Pythagorean theorem? Or is it B, Taylor's theorem? Or C, Fermat's last theorem. 
funny how everyone's so quick to answer when it's obvious, but when it's not, they all clam up. Hey guys, before our spring break's over, what do you say we all go and hang out at Miyuki-san? Awesome idea! I always wanted to see your place, but it's so far away. Hmm. Miyuki-san's rich. I bet her house is really amazing. I wonder what it's like. Hmm. Maybe she's got a swimming pool. Maybe she's got security guards all around the perimeter. Oh, come on, that's silly. Oh, I bet she's got a pet or something like that. I always pictured her having a white ferret. A really cute one. Uh-uh, a dog. A big white dog. And she's got a big backyard and a white parasol. Well, the dog's a possibility. So that's pretty much how that conversation went. You're welcome to come over, but please don't get your hopes up. For one thing, we don't have any pets at all. Oh, but one of our neighbors has all the criteria you're looking for. They have a big white dog and I believe a parasol. Oh. She said her neighbor's gonna be starting Riolo High School this year too. Really? Hey, you wanna come along if we invite her? One of my friends has a cousin who'll be starting her first year at Riolo this spring. It, it really, really is a small world, world don't you think? think? Lucky, Lucky star. star. I'm super sleepy today. Of course you are. That's because you're always waking up in the middle of the day. Oh, there's Konata. Hey! <laughs> Got in the habit of sleeping in too, huh? I've been gaming my brains out for three days straight. I'm gonna die. <laughs> These guys have one thing in common. They're totally lazy! Look! We're in the same class again. Yeah, you're right. Isn't that awesome? Good morning. Hi, Yuki-chan. Good morning. Morning. Guess what? You're in the same class as us. Really? Oh, there I am. Fantastic. I hope we all have a great year together. I second that. <laughs> wow. Look, we're in the same class. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I hope the two of us have a good year together. So do I. Hey, Kagami's in a different class again. It's not like I don't see you guys all the time anyway. I mean, if I wasn't in a different class, you guys would wear me out. I it's think it's a shame. Not even. This is the way it's always been. Besides, huh? Konata's gonna be swinging by all the time to borrow notes or a book or something anyway. He read my mind. <laughs> so it's cool, okay? I'll see you guys later. Okay, see ya. So see you later. <sighs> hey, hey, Hiragi. Think we're in the same class again? Yep, we're in the same class again. Man, we've been in the same class together five years in a row. Let's have another good one. Uh... Yeah, sure. You see that? <laughs> Some people are so focused on their goals, they end up getting all cold-hearted and stuff. Oh, be nice. What are we, the background scenery or something? Hmm. What kind of standards do you think they use when they split up the classes? Let's see. I heard they try to sort classes based on average test scores. They also separate students depending on who's related to whom. Oh, and they also try to put the troublemakers in different classes. Ultimately, I think it depends on the school you're attending. Well, on TV and in the movies, they always put all the bad kids in the same class. It's more compelling. But high schools are supposed to make sure that everyone who goes there is at the same level, so there shouldn't be any troublemakers around. You do have a point. Yuki, <laughs> this is where you tell her she happens to be one of the troublemakers at this school. And you don't want to be seen with a troublemaker, do you? It's nothing like that. <laughs> that was the bell, but our teacher's not here yet. I know, I wonder what's up. Huh? Sit your butts down right now! That was close, but I made it. Just barely. Listen up, I'm Kuroi, your teacher. Since y'all made it this far, it's important you guys snap out of vacation mode, change your ways, and become the awesome students I know you are. <laughs> you, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna yak all day about how y'all need to study hard, but you're all seniors now, so make your time count while you're here. All righty, let's get to handing out the class duties. Takara, uh, you want to be the class rep for the first half of the year? Uh, yes, ma'am. I tell you, once you've been a class rep, it's really hard to get people to think of you as being anything else. Yes, that's true. But it's fine, I really don't mind doing it. Teachers always decide that stuff at the beginning of the year. And since there are so many people we don't know, it's hard to nominate someone. Yeah, but we're talking about Miss Kudoi here. She picked <laughs> you because it's going to be less work for her. I heard that. <gasps> Our teacher's hair was such a mess today. I think we're going to have another fun year with Miss Kuroi, don't you? Yeah, her classes are always fun. You know what they say, the teacher's the one who's supposed to set the tone for the rest of the class. That totally huh? explains it. Huh? Now I know why the two of you are so lazy. It's because your teacher is too, isn't it? Ugh. I heard that, honey. I'm Iwasaki. Hi there. Oh, wow, that girl's <laughs> totally cute. I was in the same class as her in junior high. She doesn't talk, man. All she does is read books. She's kind of creepy. 
She's not creepy. She's nice. <laughs> I'm the only one who knows what she's really Next. like. Oh, I'm coming. I have to make a good impression. I'll be bright and cheerful. <gasps> I'm Yutaka Kobayakawa. I'm short like a fifth grader, but I didn't skip any grades to get here. Just kidding. She skipped she grades? Huh? Oh, man, she's uh, teeny. Wait, uh, <laughs> I think Onichan's geekiness is rubbing off on me. Okay, how about we figure out the class duties next? Does anybody want to volunteer for class rep? Of course not, who would? Iwasaki, you were the rep in junior high. Why don't you volunteer? Is that true, Iwasaki? You want to be class rep? I'm sorry, sir, but I'd like to do something different. Hmm. I would have liked someone with experience. What do you want to do? Are you going to work in the library? The nurse's office. Uh, oh, I'd like to be the class rep, sir! She really is nice! It's springtime. Something new is about to happen. I can feel it. A new friend. A new life. A new... Love. With a childhood friend. With an older boy you have a crush on. Or with a strange transfer student. The anticipation you feel the five seconds before falling in love. MK5! That's how I always pictured it to be. But the reality is you're starting from scratch with total strangers. How depressing. Whatever, I'm used to it already. You're still better off than I am. Onei-chan! Mm -hmm. Hey, Yu-chan, haven't seen you all day. Yeah, I know, I know. Not since this morning. Huh? This is the girl who helped me out that one day. You know the one I told you about? Oh, right. Awesome. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet you. See, see, it's just like I told you. I knew she'd get accepted here, and she did. Yeah, you're right. There she is. But she could have picked a different school, even though she got <laughs> accepted here. But, but she didn't, and now she's here, so it's okay. Yeah, anyway, Yu-chan, where were you guys headed? We wanted to find the nurse's office, because I'm sure I'm going to be seeing a lot of it. I hear that. Oh, I know. You could show us where it is. Sure, no problem. I'll show you guys the way. <laughs> Where was the nurse's office again? Uh, I don't really know, because I never had to go there. You're kidding. You've been here two years, and you still don't know where the nurse's office is? I can't help if I've been unusually healthy the last two years. You went and had your physical exams there. Actually, I don't think I've ever been inside the art room. Well, you are majoring in music, so you probably don't have the time. Take me, for example. I have yet to venture anywhere near the judo hall. And I just found out a while ago that we have a tea room here. Well, I guess if you've gone to the same school for three years, maybe what it is is that you only go to the places you need to go, or something like that. Hate to say it, but I don't go to the study hall that much. I always go to the study hall. No way. It's the only room quiet enough where a girl can catch up on her Z's. Uh -huh. Awesome. I saw Yuchan hanging out with that girl she met during the entrance exams. They were looking for the nurse's office, and she said they're both in the same class. It's like a miracle. If you ask me, it's a miracle that I got to meet Kona-chan and Yuki-chan here and that we all got to be friends. <laughs> Good point. It's hard to believe this will be the last year the four of us will be together like this. <sighs> and Kagami was in a different class the whole time. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Buzzkill. The answer's B, the poison <sighs> carrot. This'll be on the exam, so make sure to remember it. Yo, wake up, Izumi. No, the Temkin! What the heck are you dreaming about? Sorry, Teach. I don't know what happened. I was actually concentrating really hard on not falling asleep. Oh? Yeah, ma'am. But the monster called sleepiness just kept coming. Oh, yeah? It sneaks up on me. I can't dodge it. It's my destiny! I appreciate your honesty and your attempt at an explanation. But maybe this will wake you up. You never fall asleep mm -hmm. in class, Miyuki-san. Is there a trick to it or something? I can't say there's any trick to it at all. Mm -hmm. I really need my sleep, so I tend to go to bed around 11 o'clock at the latest. Huh? In fact, until last year, huh? I'd always be in bed by 10. No way! That's impossible! She's like a machine! I knew this stuff was important, and I remember taking notes in class because I knew I'd have to study it later, but I can't tell what any of this is because I was half asleep when I was writing it. I can't tell either. You know what? Looking at it now, I'm thinking, how awesome is that? Because it shows I'm trying really hard to study. Uh-huh. I just wish I could figure out what the hell I wrote down. Mm, they're equations. Huh? Miss Kuroi. 
That's great, ma'am. You can understand my horrible scribbling? Of course I can. The only problem is that you should have been dreaming about world history, because that's when you were writing them. <laughs> okay. Honey-chan, what are you doing up so late? Huh? <laughs> so it stinks after all. Uh-oh, I didn't know it was so late. Ooh, I wonder if anyone else is online. <laughs> you never learn. Can't wait to see you in class tomorrow. Lucky Star. Lucky Channel! Hiya, Luckies! This is Lucky Channel, the show that strives for world peace, or so they say. And I'm your navigator, Akira Pretty Kodami. And I am the assistant, Minoru Shiraishi. I cannot believe we're already on episode 15. Wait, today's our 15th episode? That would be correct. So you're done after today's episode, huh? Uh, uh... Bye, me. <gasps> Didn't you hear? Producer said starting with episode 16, I was gonna be flying solo on Lucky Channel. Uh-huh, that's what he said, and he even wished me good luck. Uh, wait, can't we talk about this? <laughs> I got you, April uh, Fools! You totally fell for it, didn't you? Uh, oh, yeah, you got me. Oh, Sayonara. yeah, funny. Today's yeah. show looked like a blast. The performance of Haruhi Suzumi oh, could have no. been your twin brother hosting it. He looks so much like you. I uh, don't think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so when the hell am I gonna get my own concert, huh? Oh, I don't know. You guys need to tell me the stuff in advance, because my schedule gets filled up pretty fast these days, <laughs> buddy! Sure, I'll check on it right now! Hurry. Look! Hurry. The eastern skies Hurry. are burning red! Hurry up. A circle? It's on? The producer said it's okay? On the next episode? Yes, I understand! Akira Kogami's concert is happening on the next Lucky Channel! Uh, what? Uh, really? Are you, are you serious? You guys booked the arena and stuff? They twisted a couple arms and got a place. And Ben? Whoa! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! You my boy, you know? I'm really looking forward to hearing you <gasps> sing, Akira-sama. Right? Oh, and I can no. host this show for you. People for seem to think I'm an okay bird. MC, so don't you worry! I am so happy right now! This is gonna be so freaking awesome! We'll, we'll see you guys, guys next week! Bye! Bye. Are you even gonna be here next time? I'm a lieutenant. Huh? あのね、それじゃあ、何歌うの聞いてください。いや、ハリハリじゃないよね。恋のミノル伝説。ワン、ツー、スリー、フォー。ミンミンミラクル。ミノル。ハリハリです。すごいギャラリーを見て。あ、